Morphine. Mocha. is not a typical Sunday for us. First off, we did not go to Choich for the first time in months, I think. And the reason is because uh, the Mrs. and Saya are not feeling well. And they say that if you're feeling bad, even if it's a head cold, you should stay home from, you know, work and places for large social gatherings so so again said yesterday she had a 101 degree temperature we're hoping we think it's just a cold we're not thinking that the beer fluenza is making a comeback I mean we we have had both our shots but they say that even with the shots you could get it so there's always an outside possibility of that although we doubt it the thing that's making us kind of think that is that she uh, she complained that she lost her sense of taste and smell. But there's a lot of things that do that. A, a really severe he head cold will do that to you. And, and in many ways, uh, the beer fluenza, I, I do believe the virus, is, is actually similar to the viruses that cause common colds. So, but that brings up another thing. Actually, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm going for groceries. That's what I was told I could do to help out. And yesterday, we went to Excelsior Springs. We were hoping to catch up with the Jefferson Highway group, but they left earlier than we could make it out. They left at 9 to go on a, a motor tour, and we had to do the therapy at 9.30, so we can't make it to that. So we kind of were hope, went to Excelsior Springs and hoped we could find them. But if not, you know, we, we had fun exploring Excelsior Springs and reliving some of my old past because I used to live there, live there from January until May 1978. And it's amazing how different a place it is from that time to now, how much has changed. For one thing, the place where we stayed has been torn down, which is sad. And uh, so we did that yesterday. It was pretty warm. It's warm today. It says it's 96. No, it's 89. And then, um, you know, we, we were supposed to do the Filipino dance practice. And, and uh, the same thing. We can't make it out to that because, um, you know, the sick. So hopefully we'll all be better by next week, and I hope I don't catch it. I'm trying to get a lot of rest, and I'm going to go in search of some things to try, if I do catch it, to at least mitigate it. Because when I catch these things, it, it knocks me down for a month, and that's ridiculous. Um, so there's that. And um, I guess that's about it. It's warm. It's summer. We're hoping to make it out next weekend with the camper. Um, Robert says he'll come up midweek and do some work on those panels. and That's very positive. And uh, I hope I'm not coming down with something by midweek. And so, Theraflu, vitamin C, vitamin D, orange juice. <laughs> what else is there? 
that's what we're gonna do. And the last thing, I gotta do the groceries. Cause everybody at the house is sick, 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 sick. So we're at Price Slopper. Got our groceries. I think the best I could follow from the list. So now it's time. Get out of here. You know, the one thing I don't like about driving the old Pike Road, speed limits here are ridiculously slow, but I guess it's residential on everywhere, so I guess it's like a neighborhood street instead of a thoroughfare. But, and uh, at least I can set up speed traps here to so be forewarned. Especially the uh, the Happy Rock or uh, Gladstone Police, as everybody else knows them. And uh, other than that, this week is uh, winding down and uh, beginning uh, my Monday, starting at 0:30 midnight tonight. So. Woo -hoo.